Hey guys, the last few days I've been shopping a lot and I need to stop because I think I have a problem. I'm still in my room because I still we still have not moved and I probably shouldn't have gone shopping but I just couldn't resist. Uh, we're planning on moving hopefully sometime soon but we just ran into so many issues and <laughs> it's been quite the adventure. I have faith it's going to work out. I am positive mindset it's going to be okay that's my positive mindset hand gesture and um let me just show you some goodies that i got first i went to sephora i went to sephora and i spent some money let me show you what i got well for one i got a beauty blender but that i've been using it's all dirty so i got a beauty blender okay i got a new kat von d shade and light contour palette this i haven't i've had my other one forever but the yellow is all out and I haven't seen this new packaging. I don't know when she came out with this. It now clips. It's a lot like heavy duty. The other one was cardboard that I had and a big mirror. The lettering is like 3D. I didn't know, when did she upgrade it? I don't know, I've had that other one forever. I like this palette, it's good. Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette is $46. I got this bad boy, the Sephora Perfection Mist Nude Glow. This, if you remember in my tutorials, I was really obsessed with the Air Can. Oh, hey Saint. Aerosol blush and bronzer and all that stuff. I still have them, I still like them. I just go through stages where I'm all about them and then I kind of get over it and you know. So this is a spray highlight. Now, <laughs> let me tell you. A year ago, I had mentioned, and my man can testify for me, a year ago, I was like, someone needs to come out with a spray highlight for like for your body, your face. It would be a good idea. And everyone kind of was like, no, Bailey, no. And Sephora did. So this is in the shade Universal. Woo! Okay, it looks really stupid there, but it gives you like a wet, greasy look, you know, like I just dump my face in chicken grease or something and I kind of low-key like it. I know you could spray it directly onto the face, but aerosol tends to like spray everywhere. Look at that. It's chicken grease on my face and it looks good. And I have a bunch of powder on right now and it like doesn't separate the powder. It just looks good. I like it. I didn't see any other shades with this one. I'm assuming they just have this one, plus it's called Universal, so I'm assuming it's just one. This was $20. The last thing I purchased at Sephora is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Long Wear High Cover Foundation. Now, if you watched products that I didn't like video, the last one I did, I talked about how I didn't like the Giorgio Armani Foundation, the Luminous Foundation, the normal one that like everybody uses and it looks gorgeous on them. It just didn't work for me, so, Jill, Jill is a make is a makeup artist. I assist her and we used to work together at Sephora, but she's like someone that I really look up to. And if she recommends something to me, I like take it to heart and I go out and get it because <laughs> she's just someone that I like look up to. So she could tell me to go get like a $82,000 foundation and I would save my money to go get it because Jill told me so, you know? So Jill told me to get this foundation. She said that I would really like it and I have not used it yet. I swatched it. I got the color 3.5. It's supposed to give you a medium to full coverage with a matte finish but still luminous. So I'm really curious to see how it's going to look on me. Oh, that was like a rhyme. It's very creamy. It's got a interesting fragrance to it. Kind of smells like cologne. Not mad, but it's supposed to be nice. So we're gonna try that and see how it, how it is. But it has like a matte finish to it too, but not drying, they claim. This was $64. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I can't wait to try that foundation though because I've been on this never ending search for a foundation. I bought so many within the last few days. It's kind of ridiculous. I went to Walmart yesterday and normally Walmart does not carry any of the good like drugstore makeup brands like it's never in stock wet and wild i want to get those hard candy the drops but i can't find them anywhere but anyways so i went to walmart and i was like i'm just gonna go look and then they had all the wet and wild foundations in stock these are the wet and wild photo focus foundation 
I got the shade light warm and fair neutral they looked almost the same in the store so I wasn't too sure which one to get the fair neutral is more of a pink undertone the light warm is a yellow when I got home I could actually see the difference um, I actually am wearing this guy today on my face and it's nice I mean I don't have any complaints so far these were six dollars so that makes three foundations I got and then I saw that they had the Milani liquid lipsticks and it's the Amore matte I got the color 22 Amore I've heard nothing but good things about these liquid lipsticks I don't need more lip products but this red was calling my name like that's that's my color if I get to claim a color, it's this color. I know I don't get to claim a color, but I'm just saying if I get to So these are supposed to give you a matte finish, wear all day. Look at that. That is, that is me in a lip color right there. I went to Ulta and I, <laughs> now I went to Ulta before I went to Sephora, I think it was. And I got the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I got the shade Porcelain and it's pretty damn dark for porcelain. And it's supposed to give you like a light to medium coverage, but super hydrating to the skin. I don't hate this foundation because I've already worn it. I like that it's water based, like it just feels hydrating and you just look dewy and luminous. The thing that I didn't like when I wore this foundation is the color. I just got a bad color. Um, in the store, you know, it looked good. But the other day when I wore it, I did that whole car mirror check. And the car mirror is just the worst mirror ever. <laughs> because it tells you the truth okay i looked in the car mirror and my face was just bright pink it was awful the color was just awful so i actually think i'm going to return that foundation i don't know if i'll exchange it for another one because i have a few other foundation <laughs> i don't know but i think i'm going to return it because that color is just not right for me it was not cute and i believe that was 44 dollars also at Ulta, I picked up this by Tony Molly. It's the Brightening Eye Base. So it's an under eye stick. It has coconut water in it and it helps like, you know, hydrate, prep the under eye. So when you put on your concealer, it just kind of glides over it. It has a white hue to it. So it does like brighten the under eye. It's like the packaging that always gets me with Tony Molly. It's just cute and I'm a sucker for packaging. <laughs> I went to the Mac store. <laughs> okay, I went to Mac. If you are a working makeup artist and you can prove that you're a working makeup artist, a call sheet, a website, credits somewhere, you can apply for a pro discount and you get a certain percentage off. So I have a pro discount at Mac and I ordered a few foundations full coverage foundations and I got three different shades because I wanted for one just to find my shade I mean I feel like all of my foundations are too dark NC20 is what like I normally like and use and then I got NC15 which is I feel like it's too light so I'm gonna use it as a highlight and then NW20 which I don't know why I got this one. So I might return that one because I don't technically need it. But I got these. They're nice if you want a very full coverage foundation. It's a cream and you could use like a brush or a sponge, whatever you want, but it's pretty full. This is the NC15. So I think I'm gonna use this one as a highlight. Again, more foundation. Then I picked up the loose powder. This is the uh, set powder and it's in the shade porcelain. It's a white powder. I just like it to set, not to bake. Cause when you bake, it's just a mess. Like it makes you look old, but it's nice to set. You know what I'm saying? So your makeup doesn't crease. And since I'm so fair, the porcelain is nice. They have different shades depending on, you know, your complexion color and whatnot. I used to use this a long time ago and I liked it and so I just decided to go back to it because which if you're a working makeup artist try your best to go through all of the brands what I did is I went through every single brand I went to all of their websites and I applied for a pro discount because when you're a working makeup artist like you have to buy products and it's expensive to buy products I'm sure you know so to go through the just all the brands and apply if you have proof that you're a working makeup artist. It's just like it helps you out tremendously. I wasn't using pro discounts for a while 
because I didn't really have proof that I was a working makeup artist and once I got like my first call sheet I was on it and I was applying everywhere I was like I need a pro discount like foundation is what $40 a pop just think having to buy like 10 of those people don't understand how expensive it is it's an expensive job I went to Namie's. If you follow me on Snapchat, I kind of posted everything I got. Namie's is a makeup store in LA where you can get, it's like Sephora, except you can get pro discounts there. So same thing, every brand offers a different percentage, but any little bit helps. Yes. Namie's is dangerous, but it's like just the, oh, you just get a high when you're there and you're like, yep, I want this, I want this. This is one of the items I purchased. It's called Era Face. It's an arrow brush foundation. I got the shade Ivory R2. The first internationally patent, patented aerosol airbrush makeup to perfect. Hey, stop it. Don't do that. He's being bad. To perfect and hydrate the skin with the professional flawless finish, for me as well levels, vitamins, botanicals, long lasting, buildable coverage. I've never heard of this line. To be honest, they make it look like it's huge, right? And then you take off the cap and it's like, oh. It's a spray foundation, much like the Sephora brand or the Dior foundation. Used to use the Dior foundation a long time ago, but the price point, like, it always hurt my heart and I would go through it pretty quick. And I have already used this once and I really liked it. Like my face looked flawless. I was spraying a brush and then applying it that way or spraying my sponge and applying it. When you spray your face, you get it in your hair or on your brows and stuff. So that's just how I was doing it. Whoa. Ooh. 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 I wore it the other day and I really liked it. It was really pretty. Did I need it? No, but I wanted it. Yes, 100%. Another item I picked up at Namie's is the is glycerin. It's just a big bottle of glycerin. I am going to make my own setting mist, so I picked some of this up. So usually most setting mists have a bunch of glycerin in it. I'll make a video or something when I make my spray setting mist. Some eyelashes, Ardell, they have a bunch of Ardell lashes, so I picked up some of these. Ardell, Ardell, Ardell. Ardell. Um, I love Ardell lashes. I don't do the fancy lashes because I'm, there's no way in hell I'm spending $10 on a pair of eyelashes that I'm gonna lose the first time I wear them, you know? Like, I just can't bring myself to do that. I don't know. So I like Ardell lashes and I also like Red Cherry lashes. These are also very inexpensive. So I got some fun ones. I got more, I just don't know where they went. And the red cherry lashes are like one to two dollars as well like pretty inexpensive i also picked up just a bag of powder puffs i needed some i haven't had some in a long time so i got some powder puffs you can get like a bag for six dollars i believe and I, I think it came with six sponges i mean six powder puffs i also picked up some alcone sponges because i like their sponges a lot they're just different they're different than a lot of the other sponges out there I promise. I also picked up these two items by Orbe, uh, the hair plumping mousse and the text dry texturizing spray. These are for these little tiny ones, $22 each, like stupid, right? I bought one of these almost a year ago and it lasted me almost a year. So that's why I just decided like stick again with the small one. I couldn't, like the full one is like $50, I think. I really like this hair plumping mousse for volume, put this in wet hair and then blow dry it. Your hair is just like big and voluminous and lovely. And then the dry texturizing spray, it's, you know, add texture to your hair, make it PC, pretty much dirty it up. But the smell in Orbe is amazing. Like it just has the best scent. I don't know what they, what they use. But I love this stuff. So I picked up these guys. I love this one for sure. And this one, I feel like I'm going to go through it pretty fast. Another item, Holy, Col, Colliere. Okay. How do you say that? Blue later. Holy crap. What the hell? How do you say that? These are sterile eye drops and they are blue. Let me show you. They're literally, it's literally blue. And if you know me, you know that my eyes are always irritated. 90% of the time they're red 
and it's just annoying because everybody thinks I'm high and no offense like if you if you're high all the time like live your life that's fine I'm not judging you but like I'm not high all the time and I hate it when people think I'm high it's just like no my eyes are just irritated so these ones are like the best of the best they're expensive eye drops I think this was like $30 for this but I've noticed it in a lot of makeup artist kits. I've seen these. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. But you have to be careful. Like I do it before my makeup because it'll stain. The blue will stain the makeup and ruin. Look, it makes your eyes blue for a little bit. I still like my Roto Cool though. Roto. Roto Cool Max. I got these at Target. I've had these on and off for like a year, a couple of years now. These are always my favorite. They're always my go-to. They work really well to get rid of the red in my eyes. I just wanted to try something different. And since these like are the best of the best, I was like, let's just try it. Let's just see if they can get rid of the redness in my eyes because I am sick of the red eyes. I picked up some eyelash glue as well by Red Cherry. This is, I haven't used this eyelash glue before. It's a little wand type. I actually been using it in my eyebrows. <laughs> A lot of you guys ask me how I get my eyebrows to stay up. I use glue. I was using a glue stick for a while, but it was kind of crumbling on me. So then I was like, I'm going to try this. But it didn't work the other day. So I'm just going to use it as eyelash glue. It's that latex. It's like making it just not work. It's just not working. That was a dumb idea. It was worth a try. And I think that's all I got. That's not bad. So I got a lot of foundations. So the next few tutorials, I'm going to be trying out new foundations for you guys. I need to stop buying stuff is what I need to do. That's the first step. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this haul. Let me know if you want more haul videos. I don't know if people like them or not. But I hope you have a really good day today. Make good choices. Don't go wasting all your money like I did. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.